Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It is, it is again Oscar time. Oh, the Oscars. Oh, never been, we've never been so excited for those fucking things. Like, we're barely even excited for them, as is. We we don't care on a normal year, but this year in particular, it's just like, well, I think coincidentally, the year of the COVID and all has, um, there, were, there, were as, there weren't that many great films, even if you count the ones being postponed. Like, it's not like there's that many. What, like the new Furious movie? The French Dispatch? This and that. No, we, we, you overdid it with 2019 where quite a lot of good films came out that year and there's just too many of them and you used up all the ones from 2020 so it's not even COVID's fault there still would have been a shit year where like yeah it probably is you know I don't bother watching all of the uh nominees the best picture nominees some people do some people really make a habit out of it I'm like damn like man you don't have to you can watch something else <laughs> why bother or you could just start watching it and then not even finish it and just be like, man, fuck this movie. Fuck this bullshit, man. I usually skip out on one or two, but I think this year was more like three or four. I was just like, oh, I forgot to see that. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Anyway, like, we're just taking a look at it now. The real thing to consider is that no, it was only three. Only three out of eight, I think. Oh, those movies. But the real thing to consider is the 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 betting that goes. On. That's the only thing. And each year I've been betting, but this year I went hard, <laughs> and I made up. I was like looking at the previous uh, awards and seeing like who's been winning what and who's been winning this and that. So from what what I've put down, yeah, hell yeah. And then out of the f six. Oh boy, six nominees. Picture, director, actor, supporting actor, original screenplay and adapted screenplay. Those are the six I picked and I got them all right except for Bozeman. Damn it, man. No, Black Panther. You were supposed to win. This is racist. <laughs> Damn you. Another honky. Another old honky. Gonna win best. God damn it. So I like, God damn you, Bozeman, you motherfucker! <laughs> I'm gonna get you for this. <laughs> I lost thirty dollars on you, you mother. Well, I shouldn't have said that, but <laughs> ah, and I thought he was a shoo in because he won at every other bloody award. Oh, maybe not every other. Yeah, okay, that might have been a bit risky. I'm just trying to look at like the awards, the other awards shows to have. So there's obviously Golden Globes and Baftas. And something called Satellite. They do like all the nominees. But then you have like. If it's like Screen Actors Guild Award. That's. Um, only going to. Nominate actors. It doesn't fuck around with sound. Or cinematography or anything. And Cinematography Actors Award. Likewise you know. So there's not much point in looking. at Them. Too much. Well obviously the Screen one. Because that's where Bozeman won again. Oh. God damn it. No. Supposed to be his year. No. How is he ever going to win one now? God damn it. You've already got one, Anthony Hopkins, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I still made like, I shouldn't say, $83. <laughs> so at least I, uh, yeah, that's the thing about gambling. You got to like spend a lot of money to make a little bit of money back. I mean, uh, you're winning back what you paid. For the bet plus some but the plus some is like not as much as it's not even half as much god damn it yeah anyway you figure out that yourself but anyway i don't have like shit to say like every year not since 2016 i think has there been a year where like i wouldn't give anything an eight out of ten in the uh best picture nominees not that i've seen them all so fuck you anyway yeah, a lot of mediocre kind of crap. Some stuff is okay. But yeah, and 
I, I'm not seeing like a lot of good stuff. And and again, as it goes with the Oscars, it's like they nominate like eight films for Best Picture, and then they're like spread those films out across best director best actor best screenplay best adapted screenplay best editing it's like oh this drama film oh you know yeah it's got good cinematography as well like you're not actually like being actually diverse you're not actually looking at the different kinds of films out there and seeing like what could win for this thing and that thing like having i mean sometimes like it seems like best actress and best supporting actress even sometimes throw in like a new movie a movie that is a nominated for Best Picture, you know. So I throw that in, it's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I did a video about this, so if anyone wants to watch it, uh, slide into my DMs and then fuck me in the ass, and I'll show you just how uh, undiverse the Oscars are, the Oscar nominations are. I forget what fucking statistic I came up with with my probably incorrect math, but what was, I, what was it? I was looking at each year, like, how... how f- how many films could be nominated and how few are that take up the nomination spots. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Like, like I don't care. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Maybe because I put money involved and I'm like, oh, God damn it. And some of these films I haven't even watched or heard of. Um, uh, is there anything else to really say about that? Yeah, like pretty shit. Yeah, but I kind of expected it, but... I don't care anymore, man. I don't care anymore. I mean, there's like enough good films, I guess, for me to watch elsewhere. Old or new, so that's the thing. You can just watch whatever you bloody well want as long as you're paying $70 a month for all your streaming services. Yeah. Uh, what? I guess there's nothing else really to say. Because like I say, I was looking at through like all these other awards things and I got like an Excel spreadsheet looking over like who won what. And I'm like, okay. I think I know who's going to win this and then this. God damn it, the fucking uh, SJW pick for best actor didn't come through. I'm like, yeah, man, it's going to be a black guy. It's the only time he can win. Come on. It's posthumous. It's posthumous and he's black and it's an old set film. I think I mentioned this before, but like so many films, especially the ones about black people, (laughs) they're all fucking period pieces. So Judas and the Black Messiah, set in like 1970. There's also Trial of Chicago 7. Yeah, set in the 60s. Uh, what other black films were there? Yeah, Ma Rainey's Bottom, set in like the 30s or whatever. United States vs. Billy Holiday, set in the 60s, I believe. One Night in Miami, 67, I think, or 68. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. And then some of these other films, the more white films... Like The Father, Nomadland, uh, Sound of Metal, not really white, but a promising young woman. Not so fucking diverse. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, set in present times. But yeah, you know, you just, yeah, you find a film like, uh, oh, remember when this black guy <laughs> did this in like 1963? Let's make a film out of it, yeah. You make it, it's very general. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever, it's like a 102 minute film and... Gets nominated for Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Editing, and Best Cinematography, even though cinematography looks like shit. It's, like, really washed out and blurry, and it's, like, those lenses, maybe the anamorphic ones, like, how they're kind of really glassy and, uh, yeah, a little bit blurry. If you're not using them properly, it looks like that, but you can tell they used an effect to just make it look like that. You're like, man, this is, this is bullshit. And it got nominated... What the fuck did even, like, fucking get nominated for Best Cinematography? I'm, I am don't put money on it, but, like, I'm kind of interested in that particular one. But anyway, Mank won, which it fucking well shouldn't have. Because that had weird shit going on in that film where... It, I've said this before as well, but, like, it, it looks digital. It just looks like a digital black and white film. Apparently, it was shot in black and white, so it's literally no color versions available. But, um... Yeah, it, it does look digital. It's like very clean, pristine and everything. It's like, uh, whatever. But it's black and white. Uh, and then sometimes when it does that iris fade out or whatever, <laughs> iris out effect, or when it just cuts to another scene, it then comes up with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of that grain, like a poppiness in the, uh, in the uh, soundtrack as well, in the sound where it goes, and like, well, Pick one or the other, like, it's not very fucking consistent, is it? So that fucking one. And then a bunch of other films where it's just, yeah, 
random shit. Trial of Chicago 7. That got nominated for Best Cinematography. Ah, uh, what, what, whatever, man. Whatever. You, you do what you want. Uh, wait, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, Best. Best Original Score. Um... Damn, man. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross doing it again. And they were nominated twice. God damn it. I haven't seen that film. I need to find out where to torrent it. Uh, Soul. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking for the fucking uh, nominations and all that and being like, I don't even remember like that best song. Like I don't remember hearing that in the uh, thing. In the... <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I've talked about this for too long. Oh, well, well, it doesn't even matter. It's all fucking bullshit. It's so stupid, all these awards and everything. You know, probably in like most industries, but the smaller they are, the more trustworthy they are. Alright, yeah, that's all I got to say. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to have one more look. Oh, oh, what, what else? Oh, best, best, oh, best, oh. Uh, best, uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, yeah, so, next up, I don't know where I put my notes, but anyway, we are in lockdown, V2.0, hooray, here in Perth, another like, whoa, hey, lockdown again, not as long though, and you're used to it by now, so yeah, I guess we are, so, uh, wearing a mask or whatever, I guess I'll just say it like I broke <laughs> lockdown. I did go over to someone's house. I'm just like, fuck it, uh, whatever. <laughs> so fuck you all. And I have a cold. So <laughs> I'm just spreading it around and giving the love out. So we're all bloody sick right now because of me. Um, and then they said like it won't. Ex- I don't know what the fuck's going on, really. Like it's they're saying like, oh, it's not continuing but it is, fuck, I don't know, like, uh, venues still have restrictions, so that's me fucked, god damn it, uh, <laughs> can't go out this week, god damn man, ah, sucks being a normie now, <laughs> so I can't go out the comedy clubs, I guess, uh, what else, and I have to wear a mask, but this kind of does sound like lockdown, or can you just walk around outside, you can just go out and hang out in the park, like, you couldn't do that before. You'd have to quickly get up and be like, no, I'm exercising. I'm exercising rigorously, as you say. So, yeah, I don't even know. I should probably look it up right now, but I'll just carry a mask wherever I go. I guess my stinky-ass mask. The stinky mask right here. What does it smell like? Well, it smells okay. I mean, I've washed it a few times. Yeah, no, it's just this inner thing here that probably stinks. Yeah, maybe a bit. Well, I guess I should just put some fucking uh, Dettol on it. Like, uh, what? Uh, vapor rub. <laughs> vapor. Under the... Yeah. Or just smoke weed into it. <laughs> just give some sort of better smell. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, there's another lockdown. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoop de do. Who cares? I don't know. Nah, I, I care. I care now. Like I say, I'm a normie now. Uh, where the fuck are my notes? Where the fuck did I put this? It must be under here. No, it's not. Well, this is bullshit. It's got to be under something, man. It's got to be somewhere, man. It's under here. Where the hell did that thing go? Because I wrote down notes on the last podcast about what I was going to talk about. And now I can't remember apart from old wrestling videos. So what the fuck was I even going to say about that bullshit? Fucking stupid. Why the fuck would I talk about old wrestling videos? I should look up old wrestling videos on Marketplace. <laughs> I bet there's some. I should buy them. Because uh, I'm stupid. Oh, God damn it. I hate Facebook, man. It's just a weird website to navigate sometimes. Alright, typing wrestling VHS. What am I going to get? Uh... Oh, no, it's a DVD, man. Fuck your DVDs. They're just talking about DVDs and VHSs, and they're not, like, of wrestling. Star Trek paperback books? Man, fuck all this. 
No, I want my wrestling VHS. I want to live in the 90s again. <laughs> oh, I really do. I can't handle it. Oh, dude. Street Sharks VHS. <laughs> so is that 20... Lot of four, four twenty. Feel like I'm seeing five right there. <laughs> this motherfucker doesn't know how to count, unless one of them just doesn't have a tape in it. It's like, oh, well, fuck you. Oh, dude, that is so sick. It says Jawsome, <laughs> Jurassic Shark. There, Jawsome. It said it again. Shark treatment, Lone Shark, Space Sharks, whatever that is. Hell yeah, man. Street Sharks. I found my Street Shark. Uh, a toy the other day at home. And I remember now I brought it home. And now I don't know what I'm doing. Am I just the sort of person that has toys around the house? Like, just old, like, man, man. Remember Street Sharks? Yeah. I wish I watched it more often. I wish I watched cooler shows when I was a kid. Now I just feel like I've wasted my bloody childhood on drugs. <laughs> Oh, I'm so pissed off I can't find this goddamn note. Where the hell did I put it? Did I throw it away? Where the fuck would I would uh, Someone must have broken in and stolen it. Because there's no other explanation for this bullshit right now. Alright. Well, yeah, I'll, just, I'll keep this a short one. Because, oh, I could, I'm going to get drunk tomorrow. And then, oh, that's that reminds me. I need to, um. I mean, uh, to be honest, I've been watching season nine of The Simpsons a lot recently. Because I got the DVD for $8 off Gumtree. But I'm going to a Simpsons trivia night tomorrow, maybe, if it's on. So what am I looking for? Simpsonspedia. I just need to like do a bunch of fucking, yeah, need to do a uh, a bunch of research. <laughs> I need to, because I want the prize, which I don't even know what it is. Wait, fuck, I should try and find out. It probably won't even say and you know why? Because there is no prize. The prize is just feeling very smug about winning. Which is a pretty shitty prize, really. Hang on, I'll just quickly look up this fucking thing there. Thank God I can f have an easy link to it. Um, what is... Wait, what? What's the prize? What is it? What do I win? Probably nothing because it's fucking free, but uh, book your tables now, yeah, oh, tomorrow. Well, they're still saying it's on, so it's free. I mean, the beers aren't free. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to that tomorrow, so <laughs> yeah, woohoo, trivia night, sounds cool. But yeah, I gotta get uh, do my research tonight. I have like a lot of other things to do that are very important, but I shall not do them. <laughs> I got taxes and child support and uh, divorce proceedings i'm not gonna go i need to stay <laughs> my lawyer calls me up where the fuck are you david you, you're in court in two hours are you gonna get it? i don't know nothing happened to you because you're white you are white you don't you can kill a black man out there and 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 you won't even go to jail you get a hundred dollars for killing a black man because you're white you got that white privilege man but you need to come into court because i'm like no i gotta i got a trivia night on tomorrow i got it's on today now i gotta I got to research, man. Wait, I'll, I'll be with you the next day. Also, I have COVID. That's why I didn't come. So yeah, I got that on. Uh, yep, yeah, this podcast is dying a slow death. I, I thought I was just going to keep it a short one. All right, anyway, I got stuff to actually do. But, uh, all right, this has been the David Morgan Brown Experience, episode 24. And it is bloody... It's bloody late. It's not that late. It's not late. It's just late to be recording a podcast. 10, 16, the 26th of the 4th, 2021. I reckon this day, out of all the days for me this year, has been the biggest waste. I, I can't even say how long I slept in bed today. But I was just so happy that I won money. <laughs> I, I made money today, so I'm putting food on the table. I'm making a nutritious meal. I'm vacuuming, I'm cleaning up, I'm doing laundry, I'm getting it all done. Those are the things that in my life that I feel like I'm not scraping against them on a pure marble wall by the nubs of my fingers, like my fingernails are bleeding out. That just makes it harder to climb that bloody wall, which is impossible is what I'm trying to say. 
But anyway, my life is fucked. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> pood cast. And I'm going to go poo. I'm not really. I don't need to. I did it earlier. And <laughs> still in my pajamas, man. What a fucking waste of space I am. Too bad. Waste of space. Waste of government money. Waste of everything. Too bad, everyone. I'm going to s- s- suck it all dry. <laughs>